Welcome back to another penny stock video and this time we're going to be looking at a really exciting uh, what I would call a longer term investment opportunity that's really really interesting here which is Koyos Beverage Corp. Uh, their product is Fit Soda so it is a beverage company and uh, I'm going to be primarily highlighting their investor deck uh, for this year. Uh, in this video we're going to take a look at a few more things such as uh, recent catalysts and news from the company as well. Um, but if, uh, for full disclosure, you know, I do uh, have a consulting company. Uh, we work with public companies to improve marketing, uh, investor relations, press releases, uh, c communication strategy in general, right, with investors and shareholders. And so uh, this is uh, one of my clients currently, and I'm really excited to have them as a client. They're an excellent company, very promising, uh, extremely undervalued here as well. So. Uh, let's uh, take a look, a, a deeper dive into this investor deck and I'll show you why I believe this company has a lot of promise and is already very much off the ground. So this is not like a conceptual, uh, a concept level company, right? This is a, a very much off the ground company in terms of operations already. So let's dive a little deeper here. You can see this is a, this is some of their products here, right? They're fit soda cans. Uh, their four top flavors, orange cream, sparkling citrus, black cherry, and root beer vanilla float. And then they have a couple seltzers that they've put on the market now as well, like peach mango, pear guava. Right off the bat, love the flavors. I think uh, with the beverage market being highly competitive and a bit bloated, you really need a way to stand out from the competition. And I think uh, Fit Soda really does that well right off the bat with the flavors and packaging. Uh, for example, which we're gonna see in a moment, orange cream, uh, very popular flavor, but you almost never see it in the form of a beverage. And the market has reacted well to this flavor in particular. It's actually the top selling flavor right now. And we're gonna get into sales in just a moment here. But yes, right off the bat, I think they're, they have a competitive product and I think in consumer cyclicals, uh, it, the product really matters, right? That's what's going to take you far in this sector. Um, not just the financials and not just, you know, the catalysts of the company, but it has to be a good product. And so in this case, they have an excellent product that they're working with. And you can see it's a bit of a health focused beverage. So I know it says fit soda, but it's really um, not a traditional soda. Obviously, consumers now are very concerned about you know sugar calories things like that and traditional sodas have really fallen out of the public favor uh, such as coca-cola and pepsi uh, they're just not as popular as they used to be and a big driving factor for that is the health concerns and the health conscious uh, consumer that we have today so as you can see they do infuse it with mct oil um, nootropics electrolytes some lion's mane as well so this is a, basically a performance-focused drink, uh, very similar to what we've seen become very popular in the past couple of years, which is Prime, uh, which has now become a household name. And, uh, you know, this is kind of capitalizing, I believe, off of the new market that, that Prime as well as Buy and a few other brands have really created uh, in the past few years, which is really this health-conscious flavored beverage market, right, with uh, sodas and seltzers. So I do think they're well positioned in that regard. And again, we can see some more of the, the packaging and flavors here. And it's just, it's really, really nice packaging and uh, great branding here. So let's take a little deeper dive now into some of the sales and everything. Let's take a look at this first. Koyos has an available distribution network of over 200,000 locations. So by the end of 2023, they estimate Koyos and Fitsoda products will be available in over 50,000 stores nationwide. I think this number has been revised slightly uh, as this was an April investor deck. I believe we're shooting for 20,000 stores, uh, but 50,000 is, is currently not out of the question. Uh, but currently they're in over 6,000 stores already. So there's already 6,000 stores that are carrying this product across the United States. 
quite a few uh, near Chicago as well. And you can see Fitzsoda now works with 7-Eleven, Kanoko, Food Lion, Hy-Vee, Harris Teeter, Chevron, McLean, Cormark, Ebby Brown, uh, UNFI, Kihi, right, Whole Foods, Sprouts, Albertsons, United States, or United Markets, and more. So as we discussed, they're already in, they already have quite a large retail presence in the United States, and they have these distribution networks with tons of tons of retailers. And here they are, the key re retailers. And again, you can see Sprouts, Walmart, Amazon, Lassen's, Roche Bros, Hy-Vee, Food Lion, major, major brands, Speedway, right? So these are uh, national retailers that are carrying Fit Soda right now. And they can be found all across the country. And it says here, retailers coming on board. So these are the forward-looking retailers that will be selling the product. That includes 7-Eleven, Whole Foods, and Target. So obviously those are massive retailers uh, with huge national presence and Fitsoda will very soon be selling through these retailers as well. Talks a bit more about the product, uh, specifically nootropics and the benefits and performance enhancements that you receive from these products. So this can all be found on the website under the investor tab on coyosbeverage.com. So if you want to read this in full, in full, I highly encourage that you do because it really is a fascinating long-term investment opportunity. We'll get to more on that in just a moment. But I do want to show you, well, first, before I show you some of the sales, they have a great case study here, uh, which is the big $1.7 billion buyout of Buy, right? So uh, in 2016, Dr. Pepper Snapple Group bought Buy Brands, and this was a health-conscious uh, kind of performance-focused, mental uh, health-focused beverage brand doing very, very similar, uh, a very, very similar product to Fitsoda. I actually think Fitsoda's branding is far superior. Just looking at these bottles, it's not very appealing. Uh, so I think Fitsoda's flavors and branding are already a step ahead of this. But they were obviously bought out by Dr. Pepper Snapple Group and Buy is projected to generate $425 million net sales. That was from 2017. So Buy is doing you know almost half a billion in sales and I feel that Fitsoda has a, has a superior product. So you know the goal with a lot of these beverage companies, right, is eventually you're gonna get bought out by a larger beverage brand. And I, I very much think that's a strong possibility for Fitsoda's future. You know, if brands like Buy and Zevia and Kevita are getting bought out by these major brands, I think uh, Fitsoda is definitely a strong candidate for a buyout in that regard. And then we have Celsius, the story of Celsius as well, right now trading with a $7.5 billion market cap. This uh, actually started as a penny stock company uh, doing energy drink and performance-based beverages just like Fitsoda. You know, at one point they were under a dollar. Now they're over $7.5 billion market cap. So Celsius is an example of a, of a beverage company that had massive success uh, starting as a penny stock. Um, Monster Energy Drink as well is another example of an energy drink company that had a phenomenal success coming out of uh, the penny stock markets. So we have some um, sales figures here, like for Sprouts Market. We can see over 60 days, and this was from April 2023. They did about uh, two hundred eighty or $240,000 in total retail sales from Sprouts Market, just over 60 days. So just from Sprouts alone, which is a single retailer, you know, they're doing over a million dollars in retail sales already. And that's just one of their many, many, many retailers that they have selling this product. Uh, Food Lion as well, right? We have some interesting figures here from Food Lion, uh, which is over 400,000 in retail sales in 60 days with volume increasing. So that's actually higher than the, the Sprouts figures. And we also can break it down by flavor here. And we can see that Orange Creams are cool. We talked about how I feel that these uh, creative and unique flavors are competitive, well, the numbers show that they're competitive because the two most unique flavors here are the root beer vanilla float and the orange creamsicle, and those are the top selling flavors as well, as we can see, uh, by a significant margin, right? The, the creamsicle has done, uh, looks like about 80% higher sales than the more traditional flavors such as citrus and, and black cherry. So I do think there's a really strong uh, growth opportunity here with the unique flavors that the company push, is pushing out. They have some more unique flavors coming as well. Uh, I think if, if we have, we might have them right here, right here on the Instagram page. Here's a, a, a little 
uh, sneak peek of what's to come, right? Rocket Pop Snow Cone, which uh, is, to me, reminds me of uh, the Prime Popsicle flavor, which is a very successful seller. Um, and then we have the Cherry Slushy flavor as well and Rainbow Sherbet. So these are also great examples of, of flavors that I think will really crush it in sales because uh, they're unique and they're very attractive and they're well marketed. And I think consumers are going to flock towards more flavors like that as the company grows. And then here we have a chart too of fit soda sales uh, by flavor by week. And it goes up to July here of, of July of 2023. And you can see that, you know, sales in May, they, they dropped off just slightly. There's a slight decline from May to early July. But now since uh, July, the sales have, have really seen a steep increase. So that's always great to see. You can, it, it's almost like a stock chart where we talk about the charts making another leg up. Uh, that seems to be what they're doing in terms of sales. They're reaching that next level of sale growth, uh, which is always really nice to see, obviously, from an investor point of view. And then we have some more figures uh, for three-week sales examples from Food Lion. $300,000 in three weeks, right, from uh, UNFI, Kihi, uh, and Food Lion. And then from, from Hy-Vee, $60,000. Sprouts, $75,000. So very significant, uh, for especially for a penny stock uh, that's still in its early growth phases. Quite significant sales uh, from physical retail locations. You know, they're not dependent on online sales, which is great to see. I think it's very easy to fade away when you're dependent on online sales. Whereas when you have that retail presence, uh, consumers become loyal to your brand. So it's great that they're all in all of these retail locations already. Here's images of uh, Fit Soda and Fit Seltzer on store shelves in various locations. Okay, so available nationwide at 5,000 retail locations. That's actually expanded now to 6,000 retail locations since this investor presentation was made, right? And again, they're shooting for over um, they're shooting for over 20,000 locations in 2024. And if we take a look at the uh, team members here, Chris Miller, that's the CEO. He's a natural-born entrepreneur. I mean, this guy's been making businesses and exiting businesses, uh, as it says here, since the age of 27 back in 2008. So he's an experienced entrepreneur. Uh, he's been with Koyos Beverage. He was the founder of Koyos Beverage, and he's been at it for years now, building this up into a really respectable brand. Uh, I, so he's definitely, you know, it's always nice to see a CEO that has this kind of story where they're a true entrepreneur and not just some MBA that came in to be CEO and doesn't really care about the product, right? This is the guy that built the product. He cares about the product, and he's going to work as hard as he possibly can to push the product. So I always love to see you know, when the founder and the creator is the CEO and the leader of the business. A couple other notable uh, members here. All right, we have Eric LeVang, uh, experience with Costco, Kroger, Walgreens, Kohl's, Bed Bath & Beyond, 7-Eleven stores, background in brick and mortar and e-commerce. So, you know, very good uh, sales background with key retailers that obviously Koyos Beverage is now involved with. So it's uh, crucial, I believe, that he has prior experience with these retail brands that he's now selling to. He, you know, it's good for, for networking, connections, etc. Okay, and then a couple, uh, a couple more here. We obviously have Chris Camozzi, former UFC standout and professional athlete, professional MMA competitor since 2006. So this is one of their... Um, kind of athlete brand ambassadors, and they have a couple of these UFC guys as brand ambassadors already, uh, which is always nice to see, because I do believe that that's uh, more and more important these days, especially in beverages. If we look at brands, recent breakout brands, such as Happy Dad and Prime, they're really leveraging those uh, celebrity endorsements and athlete endorsements and things like that to gain popularity. So that seems to be the most popular form of marketing or the most uh, successful form of marketing for these beverage companies right now, from what I've seen. Uh, even if we look at something like Liquid Death, obviously uh, it, it's founded by Wiz Khalifa, so that celebrity connection alone has quickly put that brand on the map. 
And uh, then we have a few other, you know, it, go through and you can view all their team members on coolestbeverage.com. Uh, there's a few other team members as well. One of them having uh, owns his own brewery uh, in North Carolina that's been successful. So several people involved here that have, uh, here it is right here, Josh Lumen, River Dog Brewing Co. in Ridgeland, South Carolina, right? So several people involved here on the team uh, with sales in and uh, beverage experience. So they have a strong team in that regard as well. I think that pretty much wraps it up for this investor presentation. A couple more things I wanted to show you. Just quick look at their uh, Instagram page. You can go follow them at uh, drinkfitsoda on Instagram. So instagram.com slash drinkfitsoda. They're quite active on Instagram. The CEO loves creating content. They have some really nice marketing on here. They have some deals, some specials, etc. So I would highly recommend going, giving them a follow. You can see they're a well-known brand already. That They already have almost 83,000 followers. So they're, they're on the map. It's not like this is some brand new venture. It's But they're at a crucial point here where the company believes that 2024 is going to be really a really successful growth year and a breakout year year for them. So uh, that's really the play here from an investor's point of view. You know, now is almost kind of like this is your last chance, right, to get in while it's cheap before that explosive growth starts to starts to really uh, show up on the financials. If we take a look at the share structure, here we are, Fitz F. Uh, this is a dual listed stock. So it's listed here on the OTC markets for US investors as FITS F. That's F I T S F. It's also listed on the Canadian Stock Exchange under F I T, FIT. So if you're a Canadian investor, you can purchase FIT stock. And if you're a US investor, you can purchase FITS F stock. Obviously, we always want to look at the share structure, and we have quite an attractive share structure here 140 million shares outstanding, but the float is only uh, 11.5 million. So it's a very small float uh, and obviously tiny market cap, right? $2 million market cap. Their sales already exceed $2 million. Just their physical location retail sales already exceed $2 million. And that's not counting online sales. So critically, critically undervalued. And when we talk about trading at, at, at a price to earnings ratio, this is trading at less than 1 PE. So egregiously undervalued, and that's why I say we have a, a very solid long-term investment opportunity here because it's, it's almost impossible for this to stay at $2 million market cap with uh, the financials that they have and the revenue growth that they're experiencing. I mean, when you think about it, uh, imagine you're, you're in a retail store, you're in a 7-Eleven and you're buying this drink and you love this drink and you're like, oh, this is... This must be a big company. They're in 7-Eleven and they have a great product and I should invest in them. And you check and you see it's only $2 million market cap. You know, your eyes would pop out of your head because you're like, wow, that's so cheap. That's such a great opportunity, right? So that's what we're looking at here. And that's why I really think it's a, it's a longer term play that can work out with some pretty exponential gains here. Uh, because with a $2 million market cap, you know, when the, when the market prices in the real value of this company, you know, it should be well, well over 2 million, well, well over 2 million. With a P of 10, it would even be like, you know, just based on last year's financials, P of 10, it would still be about a $30 million market cap. And you could argue a P of 10 is too low. I think most beverage companies are trading higher than that right now. So huge, huge upside there based on that market cap. And then we have had some exciting news announcements recently as well for Coyos Beverage, which is on November 24th. Fitsoda is very excited to announce a significant advancement in our production capabilities. We have transitioned the majority of our production to PepsiCo's bottle, bottling facilities. Uh, together, we are setting new be benchmarks in production excellence. So what does this mean? It means uh, Koyos has now partnered with Pepsi uh, for bottling and production. And what this, why this is important is because it's now dramatically reduced the cost of bottling. So when production costs go down... We're increasing the profit margins for every can that gets sold. And it's a dramatic increase in margin because it's a dramatic decrease in production cost. So that's one of the really key things here. This is a major announcement. And I don't think uh, the market has realized how crucial this announcement is because they already have strong revenue. They already have strong sales. Now they're going to have strong margins on the sales as well. So I think that's very important to understand. And then if we scroll up a little bit, you can see November 29th, Fitz F due to high demand and getting production in line with PEP. 
uh, which is PepsiCo, right, has now placed our company in a better position for mass distribution. We'll be announcing another major partnership soon. So, you know, that's something uh, as a forward-looking catalyst, which I think traders and investors alike very much enjoy having forward-looking catalysts. There you have it. That's your forward-looking catalyst. There will be another major partnership announced in the near future. And then here's a little bit of an updated investor uh, profile as well. Um, from re from just a couple weeks ago, which is 6,000 re retail locations and counting. Again, it's showing off their new flavors here, such as the orange sherbet, or uh, the rainbow sherbet, the cherry slushy, right, and the rocket pop snow cone. So uh, a couple different things. Uh, well, really what's key here is it says, Fit Soda revenue projections in 2024 exceed 50 million, an expected valuation of 500 million. So if we're gonna do 50 million revenue in 2024, an evaluation of 500 million, do the math. That would be a 250x return from a market cap of 2 million. So really, really exciting long-term investment opportunity here. Again, highlighting some of the retailers that are in Publix, Albertsons. Uh, they have cores on here, so I'm interested to hear about that. Uh, Whole Foods, right, which they're entering very soon. So just so much growth potential here and a really strong product as well and a real product and it's already in all these stores. You know, uh, to me, this is really an excellent opportunity. I'm thrilled to be uh, helping this company uh, with investment marketing, things like that. And I would really encourage you guys to go check them out at CoyusBeverageCorp.com. Try out their products, see if they're in a store near you. And if you like it, then, you know, you should really consider uh, the long-term investment opportunity that has presented itself with this company. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.